this is Danny Doyle, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Call of the Armor 0% growth playthrough. And uh, today we have Chapter 6, Muddied Waters. And uh, Muddy in the Waters, we have two new units to talk about in preps. A Toro, who is a red unit at the moment, and a Lear, who is a green unit but will turn blue when we finish preps. Um, but before doing that, we do have a couple of item management things to take care of. So first off, Daisy's holding a bunch of items that she's going to sell. Uh, we've got her participating in capitalism from a young age. And with that in mind, we are now going to purchase a additional heal staff. Just the one. I don't think we need to buy anything else at the moment. I want to try to conserve funds as much as I possibly can for now. Um, and... And of course we're going to go Swordmaster instead of Assassin. Uh, Swordmaster just gets better combat than Assassin. Um, gaining HP, gaining defense, gaining the crit bonus. This is, uh, I think, far and away the superior choice. Lethality is just not the benefit that, that you, you think it is if, you, if, you, if you're Assassin build. Uh, Assassin's fun! Uh, and it would mean that it's easier for us to tell Vector and Killian apart, because now they're both Swordmasters, but we'll have to make do. We will have to make do. Now, on to the units. Uh, and the first one we have to talk about is Alir. Uh, not the protagonist of Fire Emblem Gage, but the Anima Mage that we get in, uh, Call of the Arm. Alir is a very interesting unit, because she starts out as, uh, a pretty competent anima mage, honestly, like one of the better magic users. Uh, both her speed and magic have decent growths and decent bases, um, whereas with other mages you kind of have to choose one or the other. Uh, like Lewin has good speed but bad magic, um, Mac has good magic but bad speed. Alir kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Now she is still incredibly frail as one would expect of a mage, like 2 defense, 20 HP. She's not taking hits particularly well. but. She can be quite effective uh, as a Mage Knight or Sage, if you so desire, but Mage Knight is generally the better promotion. Um, but Alir does have a secret third best promotion, and that is Dancer. Uh, there is a secret event in Chapter 15, I believe? It might be 16. Um, it's fairly late in the game. No, it's 15. It's 15. Uh, she can visit a house, she'll, out during preps, be like, hey, this is my home, by the way, this is my home village. And if she visits the house where her grandpa lives, she promotes into a dancer. That's right, Alir is a Laura archetype. Um, but unlike Laura, who's mostly relegated to being capture bot and doing some thief utility, uh, like being a capture bait bot, rather, and doing some thief utility in Thracia, Alir is actually pretty competent as a combat unit beforehand. Uh, the biggest thing that dissuades you from investing into her is those stats don't matter when you're a dancer. She can no longer attack when she's a dancer, and you, you definitely want her to be a dancer for the last portion of the game. Um, it's weird, because I do think that she is probably the best mage training project outside of Mac, uh, and Mac is mostly for like staff reasons. If you want a combat mage, Alir is a very good candidate for that, but she's on a deadline because she's never going to- well, I guess you could keep her as a Mage Knight, um, but probably shouldn't. Uh, probably shouldn't. And, uh, so she's on this weird deadline. Now, by the time that she does turn into a dancer, you get loaded with pre-promote after pre-promote after pre-promote, um, and as a result, her absence- or, like, absence as a combat unit isn't felt as hard, and so I still don't think it's, like, a waste to train her. Um, I haven't trained her, I will say that. Um, but I usually end up benching units to make room for her as a dancer, so it's kind of like, like, units who have trained to make room for her as a dancer, so it's kind of like, ah, oh, well, you know, she can come off the bench and do that, or she can just, like, reclass from, uh, Mage Knight into Dancer, and that way you don't have to bench anyone. Um, I don't know, I think she's quite good. Uh, one of the better units in the game. Very interesting unit to talk about, just in terms of fulfilling those two separate roles, uh, differently from each other. Itoro is less interesting. Uh, Itoro is another Cavalier. Um, 
I mentioned before that I feel like all of the Cavaliers have problems, and Itoro's problem is kind of just being middling. Um, he does actually have decent offenses. Uh, his speed and strength growth are both pretty okay. Um, I'm more than pretty okay. His speed growth is definitely good. His strength growth, I would say, is, is pretty okay. Uh, I think he has 60% speed growth and... No, okay, the other way around. He has 60% strength growth and 45% speed growth. So, his offenses will maintain pretty well. Uh, he, he lacks bulk, but, like, the same is true of Daisy until she gets her PRF. Um... The thing is that he lacks the, like, huge snowball that Daisy has, um, and as a result, his stats kind of feel a little bit behind hers if, you, if you've trained her. Um, I guess he's probably the best low-investment Cavalier. His lack of bulk is definitely frustrating, but I don't know. Kim having a legitimate niche as the super bat bulky Cavalier is something that I find valuable, in comparison, Itoro being kind of just middling. It feels like he is a filler unit in a game where you consistently get more and more powerful creep notes handed to you, and you don't really want to field filler units. Um, but Cavalier, 7 movement, valuable. Um, I don't think it's terrible. Um, there is... A decent argument to be made, actually, that he is better than Kim simply because his offenses are better and, you know, that, that could theoretically be more valuable. Kim can overextend more easily, whereas, like, Itoro, if he overextends, he often dies just because 20% defense growth means that he's always going to remain pretty frail. Um, like, Daisy, at the very least, is supposed to grow out of her, uh, her, her frail phase, but Itoro kind of just doesn't. Um, and as a result, he ends up just sort of, like, he becomes Cavalier number two, Paladin number two if you promote him, and then just sort of, like, lags behind, uh, and eventually gets benched in my experience. I don't think he's terrible, um, and he at least will kill things while Kim will not get killed, so it's sort of pick your poison there, right? Um in terms of, uh, what do you prefer? A cav who can't kill things, or a cav who can't, uh, survive things? Which is a bit of an exaggeration. Like, a Toro can survive things, but, um, Kim fucking never dies. The last bit of housekeeping is we needed to make sure this mercenary rolled 11 speed so William could steal his talisman. Um, that has been a bugbear for me too many times. Uh, we're gonna start out by feeding this Shaman Kill to Milky. Um, just because I am still on the Copium train that promoting her is going to actually give me some sort of benefit. Uh, of course, this does mean that both Noki and Sovnia are taking damage on turn one, and... Since our army is split again, we only have one staffer with each group. Oh, she dodges. Okay, she's not taking damage. Um, that's actually really helpful. That's actually really helpful. We don't have the action economy to, uh... We don't currently have the action economy to, uh... Heal, though. And Kajua does have to hit the 7-7, seven seven, which... Okay, she did. She did. Very good. Very good. Appreciate it. Uh, and Alir can... 74. Five. Oh, actually, so rough. Actually, so rough. Um, William can't reach there either. We can hammer this guy and then have Killian. Uh, have Killian. I was going to have Killian here to fight the axe fighters. Uh, Sixteen attack. She dies. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Vector over here can handle things pretty well for himself. I think Sophia does die to that murder. Yeah, I think if Weapon Triangle is one, which I believe it is, we could support Somnia. 
Ice plus Thunder, I think, gives a point of defense. I see no reason not to, to do that. I see no reason not to do that, and maybe it'll actually make the difference. Shale can not double that guy. Could have 12 plus how much? Ten. Ten. Oh, we're just shy of being able to kill with these two as well. Um, Hazel doubles. Shale do against the Merc. 16. I really don't want to use a great arc use. It does one-shot the Merc, but that feels like a huge waste of the S-rank weapon. Um, like, we have 30 uses until the Merc. Uh, there are going to be many, many, many threatening enemies. Okay, what if we do this? Iron Bow plus Shine does kill. How do you do against the... Okay. I think this actually is... I think this is actually good. Because the Merc doesn't kill anyone. Um... Shale can kill the Shaman. That's a... Ooh! Okay! 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 Okay, Hazel! Fucking coming in clutch with that 3% crit. I love his face, by the way. I love your face, Hazel. Did I ever tell you that? Did I ever tell you that I love your face? Because I love your face. Um, that was very good of him to have a good and lovable face. So if we... I think what we do is lightning here. Very good. And then we can, um... And all of this is potentially in vain. I think with the point of defense from support, Sophia lives at 1 HP. But I, I could be wrong about that. We are going to give Shale an axe. We are going to... Move Ikechu up here. And we are going to hope that I am correct in my mercenary math. Okay, can you crit? No crit. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, ten! The support mattered. Oh, dodge, never mind. Support didn't matter. Um, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I think... So we don't want to kill that mercenary before... We don't want to kill that mercenary before we steal from him, right? Um... But then we run into the, we run into the situation where we also don't want to... We don't want William to be on the front line, and we can't rescue him because he's so fat. I was a 5% crit there, too. Good job, Sovnia. She's, uh... She's baller like that. We can... Okay, um... We can gamble on another crit here. And if we don't get it... There is always Tam's Harpoon. Okay, we get the crit. We get the crit. So, we don't... We don't want to kill the mercenary. But I do think that frontlining with Kazuya is probably our best way to lure out everyone we want. Because that's 16... 16 attack versus 6 red. So it'd be 10. The most she can take is 20. Unless we get really unlucky. This guy attacks first, then we 1% crit. But that's... That would be very unlucky. We rescue... Take... Drop... 
and then we move over here, and we do also want to activate Philip and William's C support. Uh, I guess I could put a Leer up here as potential bait for the Shaman, but it could also just lead to a traffic jam situation, and I feel like that would be bad, so we're not going to do that. Um, okay, Mac can get another kill here, uh, because... Again, another unit who potentially benefits from approaching level 10, just because C staffs are good and his magic is better than Hazel's. Um... We... We can just shoot this guy. Uh... We could just shoot this guy, after all. The right- or the- yeah, the right-hand side seems to be doing a lot better than the left-hand side. Um, Ituro is recruitable by both Shale and Kajun. I believe they are the only two who can do it. The Axbros might be able to. He's like, so he's a Cavalier of East KOTOR, which is the country we work for. So it feels like the sort of thing where it's like... They can, like, the Axbros and... Well, Noki can't, can she? Yeah, Noki can't, so... I guess it would have to be them, because, like, no one else is, like, high-ranking or whatever. Um, and they, like, point out the mis- the- they point out the misunderstanding, the issue being that. Um, so we will, I guess, just get ready, like so. And, uh, this turn is gonna be a little bit crucial. Okay, so he's backing up. Uh, now we do definitely, so we're in this situation where we want to steal, we want to steal the Lance Reaver using, or we want to steal the Talisman using, um, William. But, we don't want to leave William on the front line and we can't rescue him out of there. Uh, if Kazuya, sh does she double the Shaman? She doesn't, does she? No. It'd be really great if she did. Um, but we can... Rescue? Yeah, you can rescue. Okay. So we can kill this Shaman to begin with. And then rescue her out? So that we can steal the talisman. Go back here. Steal the talisman. Then, uh, what is our accuracy? So we've got the potential for the hatchet, which is weapon triangle. Doesn't kill. Thunder does. That's seventy. Ooh, that's real rough, actually. Um, we could support. That would be fire plus thunder. That is actually a point of might. Would not be able to yet. Yeah, we can't take drop on this turn. But I think. Oh, we can't take drop anyway. Kajuya. Promoted Kajuya is fat. Okay. Um. So I think we get the point of might. Wait, Thunder. Thunder Fire is not might? Is this different from vanilla? Huh. It's... Ice! I thought he had thunder affinity. Oh, that's rough. Uh, it gives him a point of defense. No, fire doesn't give defense either. Oh, that's actually a really poor combination for the C support. Um... That's quite unfortunate. That's quite unfortunate. Okay, so Hazel... Seventeen attack versus three defense, fourteen. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Shale can probably set up a kill for... So Shale can one-shot the peg, but could also 
probably set up a kill for Mac? No. Okay. That's fine. Um... We have these pegs... Also... Seven... They'll do slightly more, but not so much more. What's their AS difference, though? Because they have the- yeah, they have the light ones. 9 AS versus 8 AS. Okay, so they don't double. Um, so Shale can kill here, and then he'll fight the two pegs on enemy phase. Um, and he might- so 23... He's just shy of killing them, unfortunately. But Kim can finish one off, and Mac can finish one off, and he can keep moving that way. Um... Here. Yeah, we don't want any of that going on there, so we'll just leave you like so. We are going to get phantoms from down here, up here, quite a few places uh, showing up soon, but... Uh, we'll grab the vulnerary. And I guess just uh, hope that things go well. Uh, he- William is going to have Weapon Triangle over the Pirate. Uh, so at the very least, like, he's fairly likely to dodge, uh, that one. Because, like, at neutrality- oh! That's actually huge! Okay, so now he is gonna get attacked by the Pegasus, and I think that's it? Um, him not killing was actually huge actually huge. Uh, so yeah, the peg goes for him. He's not weighed down, and even if he is doubled, he'll live at 1 HP, which he's not doubled. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Very cool. Um... Wait, this one's going for Mac? Did I put Mac too far forward? Unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate doesn't even begin to describe my series. Uh, we'll go... We do want to heal Shale. I think we can kill the other peg with the monks and have Shale move forward to fight the warrior. Um, who is also stationary, also uses bow. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, and then we can trade the iron bow on the shale. Because Mac can do that. Eight damage, Vector is how much? Ten damage, okay, cool. So Vector can set up a kill. If he crits, okay, he crits. That's not the ex not the result I wanted, TBH, but it's a fine result. It's a fine result. Um, you, you take 14. So you can go here and Vulnerary up. You can move over next to your brother. You can great art, and then we can trade the iron bow in order to uh, enemy phase with with the iron bow. Because I'm pretty sure defense of seven, fifteen plus I think it's also going to be seven, six. Yeah, so it deals fourteen to him. That is an appropriate use of the Great Art. Um, how do we want to... First off, William is definitely going to do this. Uh, Stevens, which is shy. Iron Axe. Here does kill. Problem being, it does also leave quite exposed. Uh, 
We do this to start out. And then, uh, maybe we short spear? No, that's a Lance River guy. We get the Levis Lencia. I actually really like this. Uh, it's basically a Lance specifically for Pegasus Riders because it has low weight. Yeah, Lance Reaver moment. Um, I think we, we gotta hope that this Thunder hits. Okay, the Thunder did hit. That is good. And then we can have Killian. Is Killian? I think Killian is better at holding this point because of the weapon triangle. It's one point of defense, three points of HP. I'd rather have weapon triangle. I'd rather be dodgy. Do this. Um, Noki is going to need a chest key. So we'll go ahead and grab that while we're here. Because there's a warp that only she can reach uh, in this chest. And the reason is that uh, you can't rescue Mr. Lockpick over here. Uh, which he should grab his lockpick. I didn't do that. Okay, very good dodge. The crit doesn't super matter, because he's he's not going to kill even with a double. Okay. Um, he's just being a good Jagan. Setting up kills is all he's doing. Uh, very good Mac. And then... Uh, dodge again. There we go. He's so smooth like that. Oh, and the crit, too. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, uh, it's just it's just chef's kiss is just what it is. It's just chef's kiss. And so then we kill with the iron bow. Good job, Shale. And he can recruit a Toro. Um, and a Toro can head over to the right hand side. Um, because or the left hand side because the left hand side is having problems. Uh, this guy's stationary, right? Yeah. This guy does move, but, like, he's got forest, so... We will recruit a Toro. And then we will... Break this snag! Because this guy's stationary, and that is the point we want to seize. Uh, with the Javelin... Ooh, both of these are not super accurate. Uh, well, we can gamble on this one first. Oh, the gamble pays off. Good job, Itoro. Uh, good job, indeed. Uh, Kajua could get a attack in, or Philip could. Uh, that guy's stationary. That guy moves. Hammer, too. Something to bear in mind. Uh, Killian, we're gonna want you to kill the Phantom. Longbow man. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. How do you do? Nope. What we're trying to disadvantage. Okay, let's do this. There we go. See, I knew she was gonna hit because he's standing on the water and she used thunder and electricity. Just like it travels through the water. Um. That's actually a mechanic in Triangle Strategy, um, and it's really fucking base. Like, it's really cool. Okay, so you... 9, 18... Fish. 20 versus 17. 18 plus 17. 18 plus 17 does kill Philip. Oh, he can't reach. Okay, so yeah, we do this. Even if he attacks Philip instead of Killian, um, Philip will live and Philip will kill. He's probably going to attack Killian just because Killian doesn't counter. And then we move William up. Spy, give, up one, take, lock pick, trade. And now William can go open the northmost chest, the north-left chest. 
Uh, while Noki flies to the right for the right hand chest. Uh, but we do also want her to. Oh, God! Um, never start working on this guy to start out. Uh, cause he, because of the thicket, he doesn't move, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So she can just two round him. Assuming that the phantom doesn't cause an issue. Uh, I'm hoping the phantom goes to the right so that the monks can deal with him. do is you can go over here you can do that the monks or vector can potentially deal with that phantom uh and then we do also want to heal up uh hazel yeah i think we want to heal up hazel hazel can deal with the north right phantom mac can deal with the uh, one on sort of like the center water area. Uh, assuming that he does go this way. He's probably sees Noki. Okay, what if we put Vector here so they're equidistant from each other? I do want to attack. Vector can actually take a single hit from this guy. So we could put Vector here with the Iron Sword to guarantee this guy goes this way. It's 31, 3% crit. I don't love the 3% the crit, but 31, 3%, yeah. Vector can take a hit. Uh, I didn't realize Vector was so fucking hog like that. Okay, and then Kim. I mean, I don't want Kim take a hit too? Kim can take a hit too, but Kim doesn't need to because Hazel can kill this one. Um, so Kim can just close her combat here. Less than ideal. Uh, we don't want to leave her there because the Phantom will go for her too and then they'll team up and kill. So we move Kim here, like so. Okay, so you're going to... Oh, and he dodges, too. Okay, base vector, base vector. Uh, not what I wanted, TBH. The Phantom moved in a way that I didn't... That I would have preferred it didn't. But... That's okay, that's okay. We may do. Alright, so he does attack Philip. Uh, I guess maybe he just saw hit rate moments? I don't know. I'm gonna have Philip probably block that fort so we don't have to deal with more phantoms. Uh, dodge? Very good, Shale. Much appreciated. Okay, uh, you don't drop anything. You don't drop anything. But you are yum yum experience for Noki. So we'll do that to start out. Uh, we definitely want to heal up Shale, and I think Shale is our most reliable... Killer of the Phantom, yeah. So he'll be alive at 2. Okay, so we do this. Uh, do you drop anything? Nope. Drop that chest key. Uh, we could give the steel blade. Philip, go here. Yeah, this is a tricky. Um, I think we. Give an Iron Lance. Right, his ranks are so bad. I forgot that he has, like, fucking D rank lances at base. Um. I guess it's not terrible, it just feels bad because you 
you start getting killer lances, um, and then you just you can't use them on him. Um, we'll go ahead and heal up Alir. Um, and and then uh, I don't know that we want Kim here, even though she can take a hit. Like her hit and crit are low, and she would need to do both, really. Okay, we'll have... Big Mac will go up here and get healed by Yakuchu. Um, we'll have Kajua move over towards Shale. Shale might have to vulnerary rather than get staff healed um, during his duel against the, uh, the Shaman. I will also say that the Nosferatu makes killing Mudin a little bit tricky. Um, can you fill up, or William here? Killian, in case we need him. Vector, in case we need him. Yeah, everyone else just seems good as they are. Um, I do want to kill that Cav because Kajua is going to need to get to that fort because it is a season map, and unfortunately she, like, just starts in a really inconvenient position for that. Hear me, Nosferatu. I do think it is funny how many bosses have... Basically, their gimmick is that they, they talk to their weapon. It was incredibly cringe. Okay, if we get Vortex, we will kill that guy with Vortex. So I think we heal Itoro. Have Itoro kill the Shaman. If he hits. If he hits, he kills. If he hits, he kills. If he doesn't, it's cringe. Okay, he kills. Very good, very good, very good. Um next up. Let me get the warp staff. I thought warp was in the other one. I forget what's in the other one now. Um You're gonna wanna go over here. You can since we know you can take a hit, we just go there again. Um, I guess we can Great Arc here as well. Just one hit. If I miss this 83, Shale dies, and it's so bad. I think we gamble. There we fucking go. Oh my god, Luden. Luden is a pain in the ass. Um. Shale is so fucking good. This is base Shale doubling one of the more frustrating bosses. Although it is a slow boss. Like, he's frustrating. Not. He's not frustrating because he's fast. He's frustrating because, like, Nosferatu and he's on a healing tile. Um. So he gets the, that going on for him. Alright, Mac. You can have Mac attack, take out the armor, just to gain a little bit of experience on him. And uh, other than that, the map is basically over now. Uh, we just need to, like, we're gonna kill that uh, Cavalier. We're going to continue to kill phantoms as they spawn, as they cause problems for us, and we're going to have Noki get the chest while Kajua treks through the trees to the fort to seize it. Um, yeah, this is, that's the whole, that's the whole map. Um, well, Vector has to go there. Uh, Mac attack. Yeah, seems good, seems good, seems good. Oh my god, he dodges too. What a fucking gamer. What a fucking gamer. Um, 
And he got his weapon level up, so he's at what now? D, uh, C? Yeah. We can do this. Very good. And I think... Do phantoms spawn this turn? I don't actually remember. Uh, I think we're in the clear for this turn. I might be wrong. But I think it's... Well, so they spawned two turns ago, so if it's every other turn, they will spawn this turn. Which would be unfortunate. That uh, is unfortunate. Okay. So we'll move. I don't want Noki in range, so we'll move her here. I guess we can have Mac get some weapon rank on this Phantom. Do this with a Kachuku. Um. Move Kazua closer to being able to seize. Yeah. Okay, this seems good. Uh, because he can't attack anyone. And Vector can take a hit. He's the same guy, Silver Axe guy. Alright, so he's hopefully gonna go... ...running for Shale, because Shale's lo so low HP. Yes, he is. Okay. And... That means Mac Attack can do this. Very good. And then Noki can spawn block. Uh, Kachua can get a little bit of staff rank. She is so close to warp. Uh, we can. What is our staff rank at, actually? We can potentially just pop off a little and grind. Um, Ichiku can get C rank by healing Kazua, and otherwise, yeah. This should pop him over to C rank if I'm interpreting the lines correctly. Yep, there we go. Okay. And so then, uh, oh. Yeah, another one. I mean, Vector can, can do this all day. But we might as well save some for Big Mac. And then, uh, I guess we'll open the chest and see his next turn. Um, Mac can, like, get one more point of weapon rank on, uh... One more point of weapon rank on, uh... This phantom right here. I don't actually know where the phantom's gonna fly. I assume... Okay, he does go to somewhere where he's in range of Mac. I was gonna say, like, I assume Mac can reach him just because, like... I didn't see any reason why he would fly to the left. But, uh, there we go. That's Muddied Water. And, uh, next up we have one of my favorite maps, The Secrets of the Fen. So join me next week for that.